Joshua chapter 16. And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho, unto the water of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel. And goeth out from Bethel to Luz, and passeth along unto the borders of Archie to Adaroth. And goeth down westward to the coast of Japhelti, unto the coast of Bethor on the nether, and to Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim, took their inheritance. And the border of the children of Ephraim according to their families was thus, even the border of their inheritance on the east side was a Tarothadar, unto Bethor on the upper. And the border went out toward the sea to Mishmetha on the north side, and the border went about eastward unto Taanath Shiloh, and passed by it on the east to Janaha. And it went down from Janaha to Adaroth, and to Naarod, and came to Jericho, and went out at Jordan. The border went out from Tapua westward unto the river Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day, and serve under tribute. Joshua chapter 17. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for Machir the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he had Gilead in Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abizer, and for the children of Helek, and for the children of Azrael, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida, these were the male children of Manasseh the son of Joseph by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but daughters, and these are the names of his daughters, Mala, and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. And they came near before Eleazar the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore according to the commandment of the Lord he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side Jordan. Because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Mishmetha, that lieth before Shechem, and the border went along on the right hand unto the inhabitants of Entapwa. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river, these cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh, the coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border, and they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east, and Manasseh had in Issachar and in Asher Beth Shean and her towns, and Ibliam and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Tanakh and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were waxen strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto? And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Beth Shean and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and hast great power, thou shalt not have one lot only. But the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine, for thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Joshua chapter 18. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there. And the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes, which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, 
How long are ye slack to go to possess the land, which the Lord God of your fathers hath given you? Give out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise, and go through the land, and describe it according to the inheritance of them, and they shall come again to me. And they shall divide it into seven parts, Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coasts on the north. Ye shall therefore describe the land into seven parts, and bring the description hither to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance, and Gad, and Reuben, and half the tribe of Manasseh, have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. And the men arose, and went away, and Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land, and describe it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land, and described it by cities into seven parts in a book, and came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord, and there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel according to their divisions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families, and the coast of their lot came forth between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their border on the north side was from Jordan, and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side, and went up through the mountains westward, and the goings out thereof were at the wilderness of Bethaven, and the border went over from thence toward Luz, to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward, and the border descended to Atarothadar, near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether Beth Oron. And the border was drawn thence, and compassed the corner of the sea southward, from the hill that lieth before Beth Oron southward, and the goings out thereof were at Kurothbal, which is Kurath Yerim, a city of the children of Judah, this was the west quarter. And the south quarter was from the end of Kurath Yerim, and the border went out on the west, and went out to the well of waters of Nephtoah. And the border came down to the end of the mountain that lieth before the valley of the son of Hinnom and which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of Jebuzi on the south, and descended to Enrogel. And was drawn from the north, and went forth to Enshemesh, and went forth toward Geliloth, which is over against the going up of Adummim, and descended to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben. And passed along toward the side over against Arabah northward, and went down unto Arabah. And the border passed along to the side of Bethagla northward, and the outgoings of the border were at the north bay of the Salt Sea at the south end of Jordan, this was the south coast. And Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, by the coasts thereof round about, according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin according to their families were Jericho, and Bethagla, and the valley of Keziz. And Betharabah, and Zemariam, and Bethel. And Avam, and Pharah, and Ophrah and Cheparamani, and Ophni, and Gaba, twelve cities with their villages. Gibeon, and Ramah, and Bayarot. And Mizpah, and Kephira, and Mozah. And Rechem, and Erpil, and Terala. And Zila, Eluf, and Jebuzi, which is Jerusalem, Gibeath, and Kerjath, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin according to their families. Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 27. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And, behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before, and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up, and saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, and come down for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste, and came down, and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood, and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. He said therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom, and to return. 
and he called his ten servants, and delivered them ten pounds, and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him, and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass, that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin, for I feared thee, because thou art an austere man, thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury? And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither, and slay them before me. Psalms chapter 87. His foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. Selah. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold Philistia, and Tyre, with Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. The Lord shall count, when he writeth up the people, that this man was born there. Selah. As well the singers as the players on instruments shall be there, all my springs are in thee. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 11. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase.